Hello and welcome to Gaff TV's weekly show with myself, Smith, to bring you all the latest news, uh, thoughts, views and my opinions from the weekend's play. Gaff TV, give all football fans TV. That's what I'm saying anyway. Now, without further ado, let's get going. We've got tons to get through from the weekend. So much has happened. Um, I've recently just watched the Champions League draw this morning. Just to touch on that very quickly, some big ties in there for the English side's mouth-watering contest between Man City and Barcelona. Really something to get excited about. Going to be a huge array of talent on show in that game. And I think City have got a chance. I do think they've got a chance. And if they can get past Barcelona... I think they've got as good a chance as anyone in the competition. I mean, they've beaten Bayern Munich away with, all, with almost a second string side. And they've got a good chance in that competition if they can get past Barcelona. But that game is going to be something. Yaya Torre, obviously, returning um, against Barcelona. But back to the Premiership. Steve Clark sacked from West Brom. Shocking decision, in, in my opinion. Disgusting, in fact, may I add to that. Steve Clark gone from West Brom. I mean, what are West Brom's aspirations? Um, they're not a top eight side, really. At best, they're a top eight side. And I think Clark's an outstanding coach, outstanding manager, and a really good fit he was for West Brom. And I think they'll regret that one, to be honest. Bad decision. Awful decision. Now, going to the weekend's play. Start with the early game. City-Arsenal on Saturday. Fantastic game. Fantastic advert for the Premier League. But Arsenal were blown away. City were irresistible at times. Um, I think we were going to expect that anyway with Arsenal playing midweek. You know, 10 men towards the end of that tough game against Napoli. But even so, they were poor. City were amazing. Um, Jack Wilshere was not at his best. Neither was Giroud. He looked tired against Napoli. Wilshere giving it that to the fans at the end. Um, I've actually got a few things here that, you know, the crowd might have been shouting at him. It's interesting to know what the fans are saying to Jack to make him do that. But I've got a few things here. You f Short Jordan, shit, um, or you little gearhead, you little little gearhead, yeah, something like that, maybe. But yeah, I mean, back to the game, Fernandinho really stepping into his role well as you know, playing alongside Yaya Toure. I thought he was outstanding at times, and I didn't rate him at first, but he's actually coming through really strong now, um, so that's really good to see. Giroud, as I said, not at the races, at, at the races. Walcott came back and was impressive. Two really good finishes and maybe staking a case to play in that central role when, when Giroud's not available. Yeah, he was good. Really good Walcott with his finishes. Um, obviously, he's only just come back from injury as well, so that was impressive. Baby Rock celebration, I'm not so sure about. I mean, where do we draw the line with that celebration now? I thought you did the celebration when your child's actually born, not when you find out that your wife's pregnant. I mean, if I go out at the weekend and have it off with a bird, you know, and sleep with a... Do I go and do the celebration at Sunday football? I'm not so sure. Um, you know, we'd have five or six players doing it down at Sunday League, if that were the case. Um, but even so, congratulations, Theo. Not sure what he's going to call it. Um, but yeah, Arsenal well beaten in that game. And the Grado, you know, really impressive at home as well. Um, he scored. Called the Beast, apparently. I mean, I wasn't sure about that one. Sandro, I read in an article recently, midweek, is also called the Beast. At Tottenham. And I believe there was also a play a couple of seasons ago at Arsenal called Julio Baptista, who was also labelled the Beast. I mean, who is the real Beast? Should they have a Beast off? You know, bestiality. Actually, no, not, not that. Can we cut that? <laughs> on to the Sunday game. Liverpool Spurs. Wait, just quickly, actually. United coming back really well um, against Villa. Impressive to see Danny Welbeck playing well as well. Another English striker. Um, regaining some form, also come back from injury. United had to win that game to get back on track. I think that's a given. Liverpool Spurs. Spurs got a thumping. Absolute thumping. Not their first this season either. Obviously against City, who put six past them. And ADB sacked. You know, I think that's the right decision, that one, as opposed to the Clark one, because Spurs do have big aspirations. They do want to be in that top four. And ADB has just not been cutting it at all for me. Didn't cut it at Chelsea either. Um... Spurs not scoring any goals. Wrong system, I think, to play Soldado in. I think Soldado is a good player. He's a proven goal scorer in Spain. But again, not enough goals, not enough service for him. Um, and that's going to be tough for Spurs to change that around because I'm not sure who they're going to bring in. There's a few names flying about. Fabio Capello. But that's an obvious link with Baldini as the sporting director. 
good to think available as well. I think that would be a better move, to be honest. Um, what else have we got here? Yeah, I mean, Liverpool were, were outstanding. Obviously, Suarez is outstanding again, and it was a shame Spurs didn't have their, their first team. Maybe he didn't even have his, his first choice centre half. And again, Suarez, that's always going to be tough. A few other performances in that game. Henderson, excellent. Um, good to see him play well as well in the absence of Gerrard. Um, Liverpool showing that they do actually have a good strength of depth, apparently, with no storage as well. So, very impressive Liverpool. Henderson was outstanding as well, which is a great, good to see another English player playing well um, ahead of the tournament this summer. And I think he will go to the World Cup as well, Henderson. Maybe Barkley is in, the, in with a shout as well, but we'll see about that. But yeah, that's all from me today. Thanks very much for listening. Myself, Smifter. See you next week.